Okay. Where was I? That was my fault. Oh. Anyway, the new Star Wars movie is coming out. We're going to see what happens with Little Miss Ray. No sunshine in her shit. I don't know. The last one was shit. Let's be honest. Last Jedi was a pile of shit. That's the old drawing I did way back when. Oh, God. Anyway. We'll see if this is a better movie than the last piece of shit that came out. Yes, I'm upstairs in case you were wondering. I'm happy now because I was fucking with the volume and not that I still have no fucking video recording, which is why my fucking phone is out and I yes, I am totally pissed right now. But I'm still gonna watch and see. What happens with this movie? Because it'll be the end of it. I won't give a shit. I will give. Lucas Entertainment their last chance here. Pay no attention to the clothes in that damn closet. It is what it is. And yeah, my other one's also. A red saber. Because of course it is. I thought it was going to be another color. You were unfortunately mistaken. I'm hoping this movie will be better than the last one, i.e. The Last Jedi. Because that was a pile of dog shit. It was poorly written on Poorly directed, and we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> Hopefully the last Skywalker refers to a certain someone, i.e. Ray. Because if you dumb shits are making the movie and this is the last Skywalker, then you're a bunch of stupid fucks. This, do something with her. I know some people are going to be all butter. Ricky brought us there. Shut up. Just, just shut up, okay? The last movie was an unmitigated pile of horse shit. It was unwatchable. It was unacceptable. <sighs> and I'm thankfully glad it's over. I don't want to see it again. I'm disappointed that it came out. Because she could have had more potential as a Skywalker. So, fine. If they fix it, great. I'll give it the opportunity. Otherwise, I'm seeing it just to say I saw the last Star Wars movie. I'm going to waste my fucking time on Because if because I'm going to give you the chance to try to fix this unmitigated pile of shit. Let's be honest. It is an unmitigated pile of horseshit. That movie had very few, if any, redeeming qualities. I like Finn. Poe, if they quit fucking up his character, could be fine. <sighs> Ray is a fucking Mary Sue. If she was Skywalker, at least they'd explain that and they could give, oh, well, she had this training and stuff. That could make some sense. That's my biggest what the fuck. And that would explain why Luke didn't beat the shit out of her in five seconds flat because he didn't want her his own daughter. And that could help a little bit there. Maybe he realized it when she drew the saber and they started to fight. I was like, oh. This is my child. And he just stopped there, but didn't want to have to go down that path because he knew she had to face her cousin and didn't want her to have to go with the same baggage he went through when he fought Vader. Maybe? I don't know. Fuck. I'm trying to give this damn thing a chance because, let's be honest, they didn't last time. But, you know, her jumping over the fucking uh, tie, tie, tie interceptor was cool because yes, that was a tie interceptor. That was cool. Maybe she like she cuts it with her lightsaber or some shit. I don't know. The lightsaber? No, you haven't earned that, sweetie. Sit down, chill. They didn't give you an arc. They gave you a Mary Sue character. They didn't give you talent. They just gave you stuff. This stuff is just downloaded into you. Because I remember everybody getting butt hurt at Clara in Doctor Who when she got all these skills from a download. But nobody's getting butthurt about this. Well, actually quite a few people are. There's just some other asshole CWs who for some reason are like, that's perfectly fine. No, 
It's not. It, ugh, it was stupid. Palpatine, I'm hoping he's a force ghost. Maybe he'll be like XR Coon and be he was manipulating the scenes. Maybe that's why fucking Ben Solo, I refuse to call him by that stupid fucking name, Kylo Ren. Did what he did. And yeah. That would completely and totally make sense in that particular situation. The whole reason he did, yeah, was able to kill Snoke without him knowing it is the whole thing was set up by Palpatine, his ghost. The ghost of Palpatine, not actual Palpatine. It would be stupid if Palpatine is back when he was fucking dead in the last movie. <clears throat> anyway, I will state that. But I'm giving him one more chance. This is the movie to fix everything, so go ahead, JJ, fix it. Show us that you know what you're doing, even though that dumb shit Ryan Johnson ruined everything with his round head and his lack of any fucking talent whatsoever. I don't care if Rick was a good movie, I never fucking saw it. But he can't direct Star Wars worth of shit. It, it, the guy who directed The Earth Stood Still directed the motionless picture. So just because you had a good background doesn't mean you know what the fuck you're doing with a franchise like this. And this guy didn't have that much behind him. J.J. with The Force Awakens did fine. That was a good Star Wars movie. As was his Star Trek stuff, and those were fine. I mean, the last one was the best one, the one that he wasn't actually in. Go watch it if you don't believe me. That was like an actual Star Wars movie. Yeah, even had, but I think everybody got mad at it. Like, it had Idris Elba and everything, and the way it was uh, marketed was stupid. But anyway, I'm not talking about that. <clears throat> I'm going to give this movie a chance and see what she can do. If she gets it right, cool. If she didn't, alright. Alright. Peace. Brother, all it is is that.